What's going on guys? Welcome back. Crazy for KV's RC. I'm Tim. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, hit the subscribe button uh, so you don't miss future videos. On this channel you'll primarily see, you know, RC rock crawlers, trail trucks, um, scale trucks, whatever you want to call them. Um, I do some other stuff too. I do have, you know, some bashers, some go fast stuff, some, some silly things like dancing riders, and occasionally we'll do some small scale things, SCX 24s, TRX 4Ms, and the like. Um, but today, um, you know, I'm not going to talk too much because we've pretty much got you guys caught up. Um, we have my RC Speedy A1 sitting over here. Um, this truck's been built for a little while. Uh, quick recap, but I am going to reference most of you guys to the build series if you want to get caught up. This is an RC Speedy uh, Titanium A1 chassis. Uh, it's kind of built around a VS410 Phoenix portal. So it's running F10 portals, plastic for axles. Um, it does have their brass knuckles up front. Um, it is running titanium upper links, stainless lower links. Um, it's got the brass inserts inside the axles that come with those F10s. It's running a Hobbywing Fusion Pro, and uh, it's also running a WP-115T, which is a low profile uh, eco power servo to run DIG. And DIG is set up as momentary. Um, all this is hooked up to my Fly Sky Noble um, NB4, and we're running SAD 90 millimeter shocks, um, no springs on those. For wheels, we got 2.2 KMC tanks. Those are from Vanquish. And then um, we have squid inserts on the inside of those. And those are specifically made for these tires, which are um, West Desert Wheelers, Cut and Shuts. Um, basically, it takes a Proline uh, BFG crawler or any 4.75 tire. He's done a couple of the different ones. Cuts them, opens them up, puts another insert in there, and they end up being uh, set up for a 2.2 wheel and they're 5.25 inches in total height so you kind of get the happy medium between a 4.75 kind of a standard tire set up for a 1.9 inch wheel as well as the 5.75 um, which is kind of like the standard for the 2.2 the 2.2 size is definitely vary a lot more obviously I know you can get 1.9s and much smaller than 4.75 as well um, I also have a set of VXT2s from Vanquish, which are about five inches when mounted up um, for this truck. And uh, I do look to run those in the future just to see you know, how they do. That's a really, really sticky tire. So I expect in the winter, I'm probably really gonna like those. But yeah, that's uh, really no updates to the truck. I do have some D's shock bands for this that just came in. I did not have a chance to get them on before the running footage you guys are gonna see. Um, but I do like to add them and uh, you guys will see a couple instances, I think, where um, they would come in handy. So we'll get those on and uh, test those out in the next drive. But um, that's enough talking. Let's go out. Let's hit the rocks. Let's see how the A1 does. Um, I wasn't necessarily disappointed with the C3. It's a very heavy truck. Um, I will link the C3 up here if you haven't seen that. Um, it's kind of a totally different rig but it is quite a bit heavier and um, you know didn't perform really all that great. Looks awesome, kind of lumbers around, lots of body roll. But I bought this because I wanted a metal tube chassis, um, you know, kind of built around the F10s, the VFD twin, and one that was gonna perform uh, quite well. So let's go out and hit the rocks and we'll see how it does. What's going on guys, welcome back. Um, like I was saying, on the bench, we got ourselves a uh, actual day of out running some trucks so <clears throat> filming a whole bunch today but in this video we're going to be talking about the a1 it's been built for a while haven't had a chance to run it on any formidable terrain uh came out here to stone mountain georgia just absolutely beautiful um this is just like one little nook here that's pretty quiet so this is why i kind of set up here um there's some really good terrain up the mountain i walked up it a little bit but um, you're, uh, you're getting hikers walking by you nonstop. So, uh, didn't really want to be interrupted. So we're out here, not as cool of a spot, but definitely better than what I have normally. So taking advantage, I wanted to bring my C3 and kind of do a side by side, just the dr drastic difference, but figured it's not really fair. 
uh, to this to just, you know, and to you guys that are interested in this one. Um, so I was like, let's just run just this one first. And then in a future video, you know, we'll kind of show the, uh, the various differences. But um, this has some uh, Vanquish brass up front. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, fairly lightweight build. I think it's in this neighborhood of seven pounds. My radio is beeping at me. Um, about seven pounds, which isn't bad for, you know, a full metal cage. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and run it. And I'll talk to you guys along the way and let you know what I think. Let's hit it. So this thing is so quiet. Holy cow. Looks a little ridiculous with those tires, but um, running no springs on this. You know, what's funny is I made a comment on Facebook about how my SADs are great shocks and they never leak. Found a puddle under these, I think the next day. So they're leaking on me. That drag brake is impressive. Really hard to beat a Fusion Pro. Um, nowhere good to turn around up here. We'll just whip a UE and then kind of try to find some fun little stuff to play on here. Like I said, I walked up, you know, Stone Mountain here in Georgia. Lots of really cool stuff to play on. Just um, very busy today. It's beautiful out, so that's what you'll get. So we're kind of breaking the tires in a little bit today too. I expect them to only get better. They are crawlers. They do tend to get better with time. Um, wow. Also, just look at the slow speed resolution on a Pro. The Fusion Pro, I mean. I can even go a little bit slower. That's about it right there. Yeah. It'll pretty much go wherever you want it to. <laughs> Super impressive. This is running uh, titanium links for the all the upper links and stainless for the lower links. Just for kind of weight management. A little bit of a wiring mess inside, but honestly, I don't really care a whole lot so man i'm i may have a hard time finding some stuff for this one the high overdrive though not great you know as a trailing rig this is definitely a kind of a competition buggy i guess if you will tons of wheel speed with those 2.2s these are five and a quarter inch tall tires Look at that thing now, way too much. I need to go down <laughs> a couple of pinion sizes, I guess. Stone Mountain so far today has been awesome. Just had the day off work. And uh, I was just dying to get out and actually do some driving on some rock, not just, you know, dirt trails. So decided to come out here and give it a try. I took my comp truck out just kind of for a shakedown. Unfortunately, my GoPro wasn't recording for most of it. Um, that one was mostly for me, you know. I know some people probably wanted to see a little bit more, but uh, there's a... There's one person kind of sitting in the middle of this little area I'm in and they're doing some meditation or yoga or something and trying to be respectful, but my spot I had staked out is not as, not as good as I thought it was going to be. That's okay. We'll, we'll make do or we'll you know, inch a little closer to her. I've, I've given her lots of time by herself. Try to be really polite, but um, I technically was here first, so. I don't know what it is. I, I think the gear mesh on my comp truck is something wrong with it because, man, this thing is so quiet. Um, obviously, Fusion Pro is a lot quieter than a castle system. 
but it uh yeah i need to check my mash because this is just buttery smooth and quiet i'm gonna pick the truck up try to find um somewhere a little bit better so i've mentioned many times before i do like dual stage crawl innovations or pro line foams one of the beautiful things about this having these printed inserts is i can actually get it in a little bit of water see if we can get up this nope Stuff's these rocks are really, really slick. Look at the, look at all the moss and whatnot. We'll cut through this dry area here. Hopefully we can make it up this part here. This stuff is so slick. I've almost busted my butt a few times. First tumble, it's, first one hurts the worst, but I actually didn't really, didn't really ding anything up. So, come on. stuff is like snot. I don't really know why I'm trying to get up this, but uh, I wanted to. Not gonna work out. That's okay. Keep moving. For anyone who doesn't have to drive two or two and a half hours for good terrain, count your blessings. I, maybe I picked the wrong hobby. Normally the lake's pretty good, but it's just been really rough lately. Water's way too high. Decent little rock formations and stuff here, but just nothing super climbable. It's all kind of straight up. Trying to get these tires scrubbed in a little bit. I do have dig set up. Let's see. I think I have it on a momentary. Yep. All right. Is it on the other side? Nope. Yeah, the momentary moment that momentary dig is a little bit less than optimal for one-handed driving. Just the switch I picked. Just trying to find a good way to get up here. Hear those tires working. Maybe I do have noise cancellation on this uh, this microphone I use. Let it settle down. Come on. Oh. Oh, I caught the body panel. It sounded like something metal broke, but. That's all right. I can make new ones of those. Oh yeah, easy. Pretty impressive. Let's do a little drop down here. See how it does. We we'll use dig maybe. Control that descent. The drag brake's pretty good on these fusions though. Didn't need it. All right, cool. You guys run stone mountain you're probably you know scoffing at where i picked to run i know there's like i said there's a lot of really good terrain here i just 
didn't feel like stopping every 30 seconds and answering questions. It's not that I don't mind talking to people, but um, I haven't been on the run in probably six weeks or so. It's already, I already have a hard enough time getting out and doing it when there's time, you know, making time for it. So when I have to drive two hours, it makes it even tougher. Two hours each way. So it's a full day. We'll go this way here. We'll come high. We'll go this way. Let's see if we can see this is where those shock bands, I think from D's company, would help. Just kind of keep that front end sucked down. We're in a Pretty tricky spot here. Oh, 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 come on. A little bit more driving and we're gonna wrap this up. Oh. Big steep end climbs, this thing does not like. Cage is titanium, but it's still, it's just not light. Tires are doing great though. They look awesome. Logan does a really good job with the seams. Been holding up. Check them out when we get home a little closer, but there we go. It's a tight little crack there. Should do just fine. Oh yeah. Big tall tires, overdrive, good foams, nice weight to a truck. We're gonna do a little side hill in here. Shock bands would be really nice right now. Just kind of keep that high side sucked down a little bit. It starts to Unload on you. I just want to see dig here in action. There it is. <laughs> Doesn't work perfect on a side hill like that, but. Trying to burn the tires in a little bit. Sometimes it's it's good to break them loose a little bit on this, you know, kind of rough concrete, it's rock. Just this thing's got tons of power. You want to knock those hard edges. It kind of seems counterintuitive. You think a nice, you know, flat contact patch but uh works in the real world you know full-size world too oftentimes the most broken in tires work the best that's why you'll see guys running you know really old almost bald looking tires but rubber's just nice and broken in and hard to beat it's just straight edges there we go Let's see that Fusion Pro. Keeps it nice and controllable. F10s. Tons of steering angle. Come on. Let the tires work. Slow it down just a little bit. Use the front tires. There it is. Check the downhill, pretty steep, drag brake, drag brake's almost too good, you got to give it just a little bit of throttle so it doesn't endo, 
There we go. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the A1. Um, good first drive. Really happy with it. We're going to put those uh, D shock bands on there. Um, just kind of keep it sucked down. It does have a lot of, you know, top end weight. So side hilling, kind of off, off camber stuff. It kind of wants to unload. Need to rebuild the shocks probably and get some fluid back in them. Um, possibly go with some thicker fluid. Sometimes that helps a little bit. But uh, yeah, probably a total rebuild um, and just fix it that way. But that about wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you'll be seeing this one quite a bit more. Um, as I get used to it, I do want to try 1.9s on it, you know, in regular 4.75s, the original uh, tires. I had VXT2s for it. I guess they're five inches technically. But um, yeah, we'll try those out in the future and uh, expect to see some more footage out here at Stone Mountain um, when I get time. And, uh, you know, as I get a few videos stacked up that I want to shoot, I'll bring it out here and kind of just film them all. But, uh, Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button before you go. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see and uh, what you think of the channel. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks.